All right, today we're going to take a look at how you can take a design that you've easily mocked up here in Mobi One using the convenient drag and drop functionality and actually get this application that you've designed all the way onto your iPhone after designing and testing it. So I've got a simple little sales program here that I've just laid out ahead of time. Um, easy drag and drop, just taking items from the palette and dragging them over. Uh, for example, I've got this secondary page of this application. You see I'm on another toggle switch here. I'm just going to drag and drop that right in there. It's really that simple. So I'm just going to give that a little control S save. Uh, this page, this configure page, looks exactly like I want it. This dashboard, kind of the home page of this application, needs a couple things left. I'm going to take this label and I'm going to call this configure so that my sales team can go in and configure this and of course to get to that second configuration page that we just saw we need to tell this button to link to it so I'm gonna link right here to that config page tell that to do it and when it does it I want it to give me a spiffy little slide left transition to get there so there it goes I'm gonna give that a control s to save that now this looks exactly like I want it to look so I need to see if it'll actually run right in an iPhone so I'm gonna click there to run the test center now this is an actual iPhone pure emulator it's not just a skin that's on here it actually will mimic the device behavior because it's running an iPhone engine underneath you can see that loading up I'm gonna expand this out so we can see our tools it looks like everything is loading up nicely. I got my configure button here. Does it behave like I think it should? Sure does. Gives me that little transition. All my toggle buttons seem to be working like I want. Back. So I can go back and forth and design and tweak this all I want. So once it's tested and it's just like I want it, I say, you know what? That looks nice, but I want to see how it actually looks on my iPhone. So I'm going to go back to the design center here and I'm going to click this little envelope, send to my phone. Now this is going to open up and uh, gives you a few usage policies about the app link. Um, functionality and we're just going to click next because that's all default now it's uploading the application for me to the Mobi One app sync server which is free of charge for you to use it gives you this long URL where your project is located uh, not you real user friendly so it's going to shorten that for you so I'm going to use the Mobi One app sync server which is a free charge and I'm going to enter my uh, email address for text messaging in my case this is an AT&T address it's going to be different based off of your own carrier I'm going to click finish and you'll see that it's sending that URL to me and we can see here that uh, all of a sudden I got a text message and I can click on that link and there it is uploaded to my phone it's that easy I sent it to myself in less than two minutes and thirty seconds